New member, welcome.
Yo, welcome back, chat. Good to see you all here for some more uh, fishing North Atlantic. Cool. We're continuing on where we left off from our stream a couple of days ago. This game's cool. Ever since we played Dredge earlier this year, which was like my favorite game of the year. Seriously, it was like the, a big favorite. Uh, I wanted to play some other games that had to do with fishing, where it wasn't necessarily a mini game, but kind of more like the main thing. Fishing Barents Sea, Fishing North Atlantic, Fishing, um, was it Mo Moonlight Bay, I think it is, or Mo Moonlit Bay, or so something like that. All cool games where, like, you own, or even Dave the Diver, I guess, technically. Although, instead of fishing from above, you're fishing with a harpoon gun. It's the, uh, I guess it's like the, the theme of the year, right? The, the games of the year is like all these fishing games, which are pretty cool. Welcome back. Good to see you all here. I'm just, uh... I had the game uninstalled, so I'm just finishing the install, and we'll jump right back into our profile where we're doing some lobster fishing and de-rusting a little bit from years ago. I, I remember playing Fishing Barren Sea, which was the prequel, a uh, long, long time ago, and really liking it. And we did everything from catching, um, what was it, uh, King Crab, and uh, I think in that game you start out with just regular fish, then you work your way up to crab and, and then uh, something else. But this game also, we're playing the Enhanced Edition, so we have scallops and lobsters, of course. We get to start with lobsters. The original game started with uh, just like harpoon fishing for tuna or swordfish or whatever, but now it, it kind of turns so you're doing lobster pots, which are kind of fun, actually, at the start. So we're going to try to actually... Uh, upgrade uh, you know play a little bit more seriously and upgrade to a new boat and stuff just hang out for a few hours but uh yeah if you guys haven't already smashed that like button and uh thank you very much for the support we'll get right in in just a moment uh thank you very much to shenko 71 raptor egg uh, membership welcome back and calamity bob with the 24 months congrats on the blue i do that's two years i've been here a while <sighs> i think i fused to my seat <laughs> yeah that's a long time man thank you for the two years of support that's awesome dude thank you very much Let's go. All right, game starting up now. Welcome back, folks. And by the way, tomorrow is uh, Friday. And so congratulations on another week in the bag, y'all. Cool. All right, let's jump into North... Uh, sorry, Fishing North Atlantic Enhanced Edition. The Enhanced Edition, I guess, comes with all the DLCs that are out. And there was also another DLC that dropped um, last month which adds new fishing boats and lobster boats. And some of them are actually like, uh, you can rig them differently to where they, you know, there's not just like lobster only anymore or whatnot. Maybe that wasn't the case, but now you can do like a multitude of boats. So meaning a boat can do a multitude of jobs. So you can set up all your lobster rigging. Although I'm sure it takes a little bit of time though. So if you go back to port and switch from like lobster to crab or something, then it's probably gonna take a little bit of time. All right, let's go. Let's jump back into it. Oh, this was a game that we played years ago. Let me load the other save. We, uh, at the end of our last stream, we took a look back at what we played back in 2020. So we want to go to the Buford. Oh wait, no, it's not 2020. It's the, it's the year that the game thinks it is. Uh, we were he playing here, 8-5-2023. The last game, I think this one, Mickey was, um, uh, actually I, <laughs> the name of our boat was the clickbait, which was, uh, Oh, I guess the game... Oh, wow, we've been playing a while. The game starts in April. Yeah, we were playing for a few months. Uh, but yeah, well, in game time. Wait, we're playing on easy? Wait, I, I didn't even know there was difficulty settings. Ah, whatever, who cares? It's not that easy. It's deadly. The deadliest game ever. So this game does allow you to uh, go crab fishing, you know? Like you can go for, uh, what do they call them, snow crabs? So it is certainly a... Uh, a dangerous game we play in one way or another okay let's uh, check out what we're at or what we're doing do we have any crab pods out or lobsters that's three days ago let's see if there's uh, let's go to the bar go to the bar all right what do we got at the bar missions tips Pollock redfish scallops no 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 Mm, scallops. Missions, port delivery. Oh, I guess we could get $50,000 by just chugging around. I don't know, let's go do that. Let's do it once at least. Uh, deliver supplies to Ingalis Head. We have 12 days to do that. Where the hell's that? Uh, 
Oh, up there. Oh, pff, that's easy. So we can't use fast travel. So we have to do this like the old fashioned way. But that'll be fine because what we'll do is we'll go up there and see if we can buy a tip for lobsters. Actually, I don't even need that. Uh, let's delete some of these. And we only got to go like 9.5 nautical miles there. All right, let's go. So no lobster fishing at the moment. We're just going to make an easy $50,000 by just transporting some supplies up there. That's a damn good um, that's a damn good amount of money for just a quick UPS to, or FedEx delivery, you know. go hey welcome back gas mask does the game let us go raptor fishing hmm. be a hard catch that one oh we also bought the upgraded engine for this boat Soak pots at the spot you're passing. Damn, that's not a bad idea. We could do that uh, because... Well, these were three days ago, so yeah, we could we could set a course to go that way. Good thinking. This was about three days ago, so I think we'll drop them about here. Maybe with this close to where this boat is. We'll set them that way, and then we'll go all the way back up there. Cool. Good idea. We have 12 days to do this, too. I don't even think it's going to take more than a day to get there. So whatever. We'll just... We'll just go. Nice little cruise. Traveling at a whopping 10 knots, which is not too fast, but, you know, it's all good. But hey, 50,000 bucks is a lot, because we, I think in total, from lobster fishing on this boat so far, we've made around 50, and that's with like two and a half-ish trips. Oh, Tan, did we get the short of uh, me and the lobster boat where I fast traveled and then I really fast traveled by literally flying up in the air do I eat what I fish I used to I used to do a lot of fishing and we would eat walleye and northern and other stuff do a nice little fish fry oh there's a question mark what is that probably a point of interest I think actually we can uh, fast travel that way Oh, nobody clipped that? Oh. My uh, clipping program could have been broken. I'll, I'll have to see what I got for uploads. Is what we're looking at over here? Oh, cool. Oh! Oh, it's a... Wait, we unlocked a new boat? Oh, what? So there's boats hidden across the map, and if you find them, you unlock them? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, that boat would be great. Oh. Alright, so when we get close to a boat that we can buy... Oh. I think it's that boat. Cool. Cool. Wow, the water looks really good. Really good. Nice. How was that?
think these are our own markers. Does it actually show? It must put little buoys out for our own waypoints. Yeah, okay. Now we don't have to hit them, we can just get close. Well, hopefully with the 50,000 we can buy, um, I don't know, something. Well, I suppose more tips. That'll pay for all our lobster tips. Are we getting faster in open water? Yeah, we are. Yeah, they must restrict your movement while you're in the, uh, in the bay, I guess. So we're doing about 12, now we're almost, yeah, 30 plus knots. 35, 34. Oh, there's another point of interest. Is it that big boat? No. Is he moving? Oh, it's a ferry. What the hell is he doing? That must just be a, uh, a lighthouse. Let's hit it anyway. The cool thing is we have fast travel to these points of interest, so it could be useful. Cape Fortune Lighthouse, cool. Damn, is that boat a hovercraft? Dude, it's going fast. Hey, what's up, Muerto? How you doing? Welcome. If you get a power radar, the the hidden boats show up from a larger distance. Oh, that's true, yeah. That is true. I can remember that from the first game. I played way more of the first game than this one. When I played this one, I don't know. I think it was just like I wanted to take a look at it but not really grind it. I, it's probably other games that came out, but here we are. Good games always resurface on this channel all the time. All right, cool. So now we're going to go about Oh, we got a ways to go. Okay. We got a ways to go, brother. This game looks great, yeah. I think there's a way you can like cheat your profile to where you can put in a bunch of money just so you can buy the boat that you want to buy in order to simulate the job you want to do. Like an American truck simulator and Euro truck simulator, you know, you can give yourself a bunch of money just to drive the trucks and the equipment that you want to do. But a lot of the fun of these games is to, like, actually grind out on the jobs and the stuff you don't want to haul or that you don't want to fish. And then work your way up to, you know, the stuff you want to do. And it makes it more satisfying when you know that you built or buy the tuna boat yourself or you're building the company yourself. Willem Dafoe was in a movie called The Lighthouse in 2018 where it was filmed in that park. Really? Yeah, this is the enhanced uh, version, Kevin. So we got we got all the DLCs on as far as I know, I think. Can you see the fish you're catching? Um, there is harpoon fishing in the game, so I'm assuming you can see them on the surface, yeah. And then when you uh, get uh, lobsters and stuff, you can actually, like... You have to look at them and like make sure they're the right size, or you get a fine, which is like fair enough. And you gotta gotta teach uh, conservationism. Gotta keep that stuff alive and going. All right, that's close enough. Let's turn. Yeah, yeah. Deadliest Catch has all the crab. There, there certainly is uh, crab in this game. Do you have any maps of the bottom or sonar? Yeah, we have a sonar. I don't know if you can get maps of the bottom, but there is a sonar that we have and that you can buy a better one. Ours right now only works to about 500 meters, I think. Or I don't know. But mostly we're just working off tips. When we uh, go to the bars, we can buy a tip. Oh, thank you, Tan, for dropping him. Tan is reminding everybody to clip clip. And there'll be some more shorts. 
Probably this, uh, well, tomorrow and, and into the weekend as well. More funny moments for chat to enjoy. We like to have fun here. Because remember, chat. When you're here, you're family. That's right. Just like an Olive Garden. Unlimited emotes and breadsticks. Should probably get a breadstick emote, actually. We need more members to unlock more emotes, though. So if you're thinking about maybe possibly becoming a member right now, remember that becoming a member unlocks a bunch of other stuff for other people, too. And that's pretty cool. Oh, I see. I'm looking at the uh, yellow dot, but that's our final destination to go to. I should stay on the line. Hold the line. Love isn't always on time. Let's do this. Let's remove that marker. And we'll just follow the next one. <laughs> Is there a contested fishing territories DLC for Southern Canada Sea Region? Um, nope. I don't think so. Honestly, this game might have mods. There might be mods for different types of uh, boats and technology and other stuff. I don't know, it's pretty chill, man. It's a pretty chill game. I've been really wanting to play more simulator games like this, like Derail Valley. Tomorrow night, I think we want to play Train Sim World 3 again, because they have new uh, steam trains out for uh, 1960s Britain. So that'll be cool. New member, welcome. Louis Cup, thank you very much for the little raptor membership welcome aboard thank you very much there you go show them that green eye show them that love was that a u-boat no it's a welcome. it's a my boat it's a my boat oh paul thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg as well all right big shout out to you guys thank you very much more green eyes in the chat show them some love let's go All right, so at this rate, oh, we actually went a really long distance so far. Oh yeah, we're gonna definitely slow down and drop off uh, lobster pods there. This would be a really cool game uh, to, to be able to like fish in Alaska and also, I really wanna do bush pilot stuff. I feel like there's a lot of cool stuff we could do in Alaska to simulate house building and It'd be like um, Medieval Dynasty, where, like, literally you make a log cabin out of, a like, actual logs, you know, and cut down the trees and all that stuff. It'd be fascinating to see. Yeah, we'll play Ranch Simulator again. I don't know when or where, but um, we do have our schedule down below. Yo, Swamp Molly, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Thank you very much for the support. Green eyes in the chat, show them some love. How y'all doing today, says Scully? I'm good. I'm really happy to be playing this again, actually. I, um... I feel like there's a... There's like this time period where, like, a couple of years after a game comes out, I want to go back and play it again. You know, like, this game's been around for, like, three years, but there's nothing wrong with checking out a game that's... Because I, I feel like three years is a really good window for a game to release, get DLC, and have tons of updates. Like, three years from a game's release, there's lots of stuff. And in the case of some games, like City Skylines or American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck, these games, those games, like, never end. They can always add a new truck, they can always add a new road, a new town, new cargo, new trailer. Or in the case of City Skylines, like, n new roads, meaning types... It's crazy, the amount of stuff you can do in those games. What's up, Ian? Welcome. Scully, you like that? It's good you love this game? Good. Yeah, this game's pretty chill. I want to play some more uh, ATS and Euro Truck, too. It, it is fun to do business games where, like, you're building the business by, like, kind of doing the job yourself first. Because, like, in this game, you do get to be a captain. Like, eventually we can hire employees, and it's the same in, like, ATS and Euro Truck, where you can eventually, you know, your old trucks, you can just give them to a new driver, hire a new driver, and then boom. Uh, you got somebody, like, hauling logs in your own old Kenworth or something, and you make that income that way. 
pretty cool. I've seen quite a bit, bit of lobsters here. But it's a very small... Small area, yeah. America Truck Sim or Euro Truck Sim? I like both. Honestly, I like both. I find Europe to be a little bit more interesting because I don't see those roads on a daily basis. But the American one is getting more interesting every day because they keep adding more and more DLC, which adds more and more states. With, uh, what's the next one they're adding? Oklo is it Oklahoma? I think it's Oklahoma. Because they just added, I think the latest one was Texas. Yeah, you can mark the spot later for fishing. I mean, I feel like anywhere around here where it's like this lighter blue, like this, this is where the lobsters are going to be. More likely. I don't know, chat. I was having a thought today, too. Like, oh, it'd be kind of fun to also... Like, I stream a lot and make a lot of videos on this channel, but for a brief moment, I'm thinking, like, why not branch out to... Uh, do stuff on our other channel too and maybe on this channel do all the big O city builders manor lords RTS and strategy city builders and then do another channel for uh, simulators would be cool one weird thing about YouTube sometimes is that Somebody will subscribe because they see a City Skylines video, and the next thing I'm playing like Microsoft Flight Sim, and they'll be like, "Dude, he doesn't play, <laughs> he doesn't play City Skylines anymore." And it's like, "No, no, no, I I like both. I want to play both." Yeah, I gotta diversify. It honestly keeps things fresh. Like if, I don't know, on the other hand, if I only played, like, okay. If I, if I change this channel, the main channel, to only do like uh, city builders and simulators, I would still have to play other things on another channel because I would have to, I want to be, I want to do other stuff too, uh, to keep it fresh, you know? Because to be fair, I get it. Like. A lot of people on this channel just want to see Manor Lords and, like, Sons of the Forest, but they don't want to see Star Wars or something. And it's like, yeah, okay, fair. But I want to play, I want to play everything, or at least everything that I'm interested in. What do you guys think of that Mecha Bellum game earlier today? I was thinking about it all day today, and I'm like, damn it, I want to play that more. He wants to do the double dip. True. Well, a lot of people do that. I, I feel like if you if you have a Twitch channel, I think you have to have a YouTube channel as well as like an archive. Because like, I, Twitch, first of all, doesn't really save everything. And second of all, I don't think people watch Twitch live more than they actually watch VODs by far. Because everybody just, if you really like somebody on Twitch, you just follow their YouTube channel. So that way you can just like, if you miss a stream, you just go. Like here, if somebody's missing the stream, which, by the way, person who's now watching this as a VOD three days later, yeah, you, put a lowercase j in the comment section. Let, let's see how many people we get. Chat, come back to this stream in a couple days and see how many people are watching it afterwards. But, you know, it's like nice. After the stream is over, it's an immediate VOD. and That's why there's so much stuff on the channel, because people can come back later. Know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? A lot of birds out here. Yeah. A lot of boats out here, too. All right, so I think we're going to get into our, I think, ooh. Where did we put our lobsters last time? I, th I think, or our lobster uh, pots. Let's slow down a little bit. 
That's too deep here, actually, to be able to... Oh, you know what? I can't really see with this fish finder. It looks like they were moving this way, but honestly, they could have gone anywhere. And we'll just get to the other side of the hole and see what happens. Johnny with the 10 bomb for chat. 10 people in the chat were gifted memberships because of Johnny Bro. Thank you very much for the support. Gift bomb emotes in the chat. Show them some love. Let's go. Hell yeah, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah, to all you guys who've ever dropped a member bomb for anybody, that's awesome. Thank you for letting somebody else in on the fun with all the emotes. We've got a good artist working on uh, emotes for it. Well, actually, Art's made so many emotes now that I haven't asked him to make anything for a little while. Uh, because we just, like, switched them out based on the game. Which is totally cool. That's why we need more slots, though. But, you know what I want to do, chat? I want to change out the uh, membership icons. Not change the colors or anything, or change the overall design, but just make them look a little different. Blue eye will still be a blue eye, and it'll still still look like an eye, but... Oh, I think we got to change some things around. Keep it fresh for this year. I'm going to freshen things up this year. Somehow. Take our most popular emotes and change them a little bit. Change up the gift bomb emote. Change up the join button emote. You really like the eyes? Me too. I like the eyes. I think we gotta just like uh, freshen them up, you know? Like we gotta just have eyes 2.0. Nothing too crazy. All right, here we here we come. Let's see what we got. We got lobsters here. Is it a lot of lobsters? Keep an eye on it. I'll pop them if they, uh, if we start seeing la larger numbers. I think they moved on though. Also, we need a better fish finder. Sonar would be better. Sonar would be good. Maybe we can come up for with new colors for people who've been over 36 and 40, 48 months. Maybe a new color. I don't know. I like them, but we gotta change things up a bit. All right, I'm seeing more lobsters on the, on the sonar. Huh. I, 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 Captain, exactly. The eyes are nice, though. Okay, I'm seeing a couple lobsters here. All right, we're going to drop here. Let's crawl through a little bit. Someone near me? Doesn't sound like our own engine. Okay, uh, let's put cruise control on. Okay, that seems fine. Let's -a go. Oh yeah, we got those upgraded buoys too. Nice. I call those the Baba buoys. And we're 
we're pretty much yeah this is good a pretty good course thanks tan for being so helpful trying to get people on the discord and stuff got a real nice discord too folks exclamation point discord come on in and feel welcome to ask questions about games or find other people to game with it's good stuff James R. with the Raptor Hatching membership, too. Green eyes, let's go. Another new member. Welcome on back. Well, I guess welcome for the first time, but welcome back to the channel. I'm sure it's not your first time here. Not your first rodeo. Oh, thank you, Simon, for being here. You thinking about setting up a live channel too? Yeah, more power to you. I hope more people feel welcome to stream on YouTube and more people um, end up streaming overall. Streaming is a lot of fun. Nice thing is you guys can ask questions live and, and get live answers. Videos are more popular, of course, because they're shorter, so the, uh, the barrier to entry is a lot smaller. You know, you don't have to commit as much time to watch, but... Uh, a lot of our audience works from home uh, or has a job where they're allowed to watch or listen. Some people are truckers. On call or working late night in the medical field or whatnot. So, pretty cool. Yeah, Tan's on autopilot. Yep. Yeah. Tan, <laughs> Tan is just an autopilot bot. Like, just keeps things running all right let's take a look at our fish finder again oh yeah there's lots of lobsters here this is good good spot we should actually mark this for future use there we go You know, there's all these great job simulator games, too, like um, Metro Sim Hustle and, um, what was it, Bartender Simulator, and all these games that are kind of just fun, chill. Like, even Microsoft Flight Simulator and Farming Simulator are awesome job simulators. Like, even, you know, people who are truckers, pilots, and farmers love playing those games. Someone who works for a trucking company could just pretend they, own, they run their own. Like, there's some people who just don't care. Like, they eat, sleep, and breathe like farming or trucking or fishing. I love that. Or, of course, you know, golfing, too, where even if you're a golfer IRL, you might not have all the money to go to every single golf course, buy all that equipment and whatnot, like, spendy times. Lando Lobster, you mean Bradford Territory? Good night, Tan. Please go to bed. You need your rest. Thank you for being here. You are dismissed. Shut down your OS. What's happening? Hey, what's happening? Welcome. We're just baiting some lobster traps. I'm going to go up to uh, some city to deliver some equipment or something for like 50,000 bucks. Oh, uh, yeah, we're rigged for uh, lobster fishing. So we're dropping pots, steel pots. Yeah, we have the ability to upgrade your ship. Yeah, you can upgrade all sorts of stuff radar, lights, engine, the hull capacity. You can buy, like, licenses for different things. You can uh, change your rigging so that way you can, like, lobster fish and then also, like, do harpoon and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, you want to know my PC stuff? Um, exclamation point PC should show all of the uh, stuff we're currently running. And 
and we should be good about now. Yep. Getting better at this. Can you fish with dynamite? You can. You better have a wax fuse. It's a good way to do it in Hunt Showdown. Oh yeah, you can fish at night for sure, yeah. Yeah, that's why the buoys kind of have a, a beacon on them too, so you can see them in nighttime or day, you know, day or night. Makes it a little easier at night, but you can still see the beacon at day. I gotta check where we're at right now. It could be a little too deep. Oh no, we're, we're perfect. Oh, this is great. This is great. Is the blue chest still giving me problems? No. We did learn that like there's a chest that you can put here, like a, a box to um, put the lobsters in after you catch them and it causes like, it prevents you from fast traveling and stuff, but the game doesn't tell you that. Like it, it just won't do it and then you gotta figure out why. But it's cause the, the blue, these blue boxes have to be like stowed away. Last one. Can you add crew if you get a bigger boat? You sure can, yep. Yeah, you can get some, some big, big boats. You remember fishing with your dad? Especially beach fishing was good fun. Also, oh, where you had your first beer. Ooh. Was it gross? Yeah, it's funny when you smell and taste coffee for the first time or beer as a kid. You know, like a, an adult would be like, here, kid. And you're like, ah, what the hell? Why do you guys drink that stuff? Gross. And then years later, it's like, mm-hmm, now I understand. You know, when you're like nine. I understand. Nice. Wow, real good line. Look at that. Solid. Yo, James with the five bomb for chat. Thank you very much, James, for dropping five gift bombs for the chatty chatters. We are up to 20 new members. Damn. All right. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to head out at full speed. All right, five more, and we're halfway to 50. All right, we got autopilot, so let's go ahead and turn that off. And then... Should be able to go. There we go. Cool. We should be able to head straight there. Nice. Felix, welcome aboard as a raptor hatchling as well. Thank you very much. Oh, it took you 10 minutes to figure out how to drop pots. You have kept holding it by the side of the boat. Yeah. There's a few things the game doesn't tell you, like when you have a lobster that's too small in your hand, it's like, how do you throw it back you in the remember? ocean? Welcome. And you got to kind of like look up over the ocean and then like throw it, like you throw it really far. Um, I don't know if this is on Switch or PS5 or whatnot. I, I think this is just on PC, but if anybody uh, knows, let us know. I don't know if this is a console game, but it'd be a good one. Tan, go to bed. I 
How's the fishing going? Well, we just dropped some lobster pots, so we'll see in about 24 hours. We'll come back at about 18 and start picking them up. It is on PS5? All right, cool. Well, there you go. Turn on all of our lights just for funsies. Oh, I guess they're on, okay. Nice. Uh, when I join, uh, the member jump off a plane, pull out the parachute. You're joining the member plane? PBR is a classic first beer. Oh, Chad's got some uh, PBRs in the chat. Give me a hell yeah! Give me a hell yeah! Give me a hell yeah! All right, Chad, calm down. Speaking of beer, by the way, beer battered fish, damn. Something about a beer battered walleye that just hits different. I've had plenty of seafood, but I guess that's my first simple love. Scuba bear. Oh, you're right. There's bears out here too. Well, I'm not. I'm not safe in space. I'm not safe on the ocean, under the ocean. I'm pretty sure like half the creatures in Subnautica are just bears. Pretty sure. Do I like sunfish? Um, I've probably eaten some, but I like walleye the best. <laughs> Beer battered bear. Bear battered cod with garlic sauce. Wow. Hey, what's up, Bjorn? Uh, you're a humble and nice, entertaining dude. Wish you the very best. Well, thank you, and uh, feel welcome to come in our chat anytime. We have a pretty damn good chat. I know you guys aren't always interested in everything we play, but every time we play something, a lot of people show up, and it's really nice. So that's really cool. So thanks for being fun. When I first started the channel, or really when I wanted to do a lot more with the channel back in like uh oh boy like 2012 like oh, about 10 years ago i was playing like meta war assault squad and stuff and i was like oh if i start putting out videos maybe more people will start playing this game so i can play like with more people like more people will find out about it and here we are i'm driving a boat talking about beer <laughs> who would have thought it's pretty though I think we need to upgrade our GPS a little bit more so we can set a course. I think we've only got it set as cruise control. But now we got to be able to set it to set a course. Bjorn means bear. Yeah, it sure does. Jog tell us more svenska. Jog integrale Bjorn. Bjorn, uh, uh, nee. Is this my day job? No, during the day I'm a part-time stripper and I do hair. And uh, I'm a musician, a magician enjoyer. I do magic tricks, like uh, this one. Oh, did you see that chat? Oh my god, dude, that's magic. I can't. I tell you how it happens, you know, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you the secrets. Yeah, Baloo is a bear. Yeah. Uh, dude, Tailspin is badass and severely underrated. We Is there like a Tailspin... There needs to be an open-world Tailspin 
cargo delivery game. Can we get Disney on that? Disney. Hey, Star Wars and stuff's cool, but can we get like an open world blue flight sim? Thanks. Actually, wait a minute. Is uh, is Baloo's... Is the plane from Tailspin, Baloo's plane, is that... Is that like a real plane? It's gotta be based on something real from like the 30s or 40s. I'm pretty sure somebody could probably... Uh... Put that into, um... Into a mod for Flight Sim, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they put in the damn, um... Whatever ship it is from Halo, right? So, I mean, they could put anything in. The Grumman Goose? Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. What was the show? Well, the name of the show was Tailspin. And it was Baloo the Bear, and then I don't... I remember there was, like, a dude who had, like, an airship aircraft carrier... Yeah. Is this horror? No, this is an actual simulator. But if you do want a horror fishing game, Dredge. Dredge is like my game of the year so far. Like, I really, 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 really liked it. There's a lot of great games. Star Wars was great and stuff, too. But, I mean, I got this, like, I don't know, it was like simulator, a little spooky. Like, there was a little economy to it. At a certain point, I kind of just wanted to, like, play Dredge and not do any of the story. Just go fishing and try to make money. I hope they end up making some sort of an open-ended part of that game. Wow, look at the sun go down. That is amazing. Damn. It was on before DuckTales? Chronologically? I don't know. It was the Conwing L16 Sea Duck. Really? Well, that may have been the name of it in the show. Was that a real name? <laughs> Prestige will wide boats and hose, yeah. Don Carnage was the pirate captain, yeah. Uh, this game is single player as far as I know. Damn, it, it would be a damn fine multiplayer game. We need more multiplayer uh, simulator games. It, it boggles my mind at how long ATS and Euro Truck were out before they got multiplayer. But it worked, damn it. When it came out, it works. And it works really well. ATS and Euro Truck are a hell of a time. I think we play. The, we got to get like She Fox, me, Dirty Lumberjack, Red, everybody in a convoy. We got to see if we can do like a whole, full goof, even Jerry, full goof troop. Con maybe get Morgan and Indrid in on it. We got to get them uh, trucker names though. Morgan's not good enough. We'll call Morgan Leskin. That'll be a good name. Mhm. Mm Fairchild C-119 flying boxcar is a real plane. Wow. Uh, we're almost there. We're going to pull into port when it's nighttime. The Sea Duck is based on a combination of the Fairchild C-82 and the Grumman HU-16 Albatross. Oh, and, oh, and the PB, PBY Catalina. Oh, nice. Dude, there was this game for Dreamcast a million years ago, uh, where it was the it was like Japanese and American planes in World War II. It was a Dreamcast flight simulator, and the PBY and a bunch of other planes were in that game, and that was like the coolest. That was the freaking coolest uh, flight simulator game I'd ever played up to that point with like war in it. Okay, actually, there's a point of interest here. Let's go there. That was cool, man. What about my trucker name? I don't know. Indra's pretty damn good. Well, you have the name uh, Cold, so we could call you the Chilled One, but I don't know if that... Because you're supposed to have, like, two... What do you call it? Like, two-syllable names, like Raptor, Last Skin. Well, there's Rubber Ducky. Oh, there's an island here? Or is that here? I don't know. I, know, I thought Indrid was good. Indrid, we gotta play um, Parkitect again. You, me, Morgan. Actually, I, I want to play where we all control our little, our own little islands, and then we, um, 
I want to play it so we get all our own islands and then connect them together. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's like a... Is that how far we are from the shore? Or is that a sea lane? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, Park Attack School. Severely underrated. Uh, this weekend, guys, we got access to a new game. I don't know if you saw us play it, but there was a game called uh, Park Beyond. And it was actually kind of cool. It felt like a remixed uh, Planet Coaster, which was kind of cool. And it certainly has some weird stuff to it, but I thought it was fun. I want to play it again. The only problem with that game is it's in a closed beta, and you can't save your park. So, like, you know, I could build a beautiful park, and then it gets deleted. But maybe we'll play some more of the campaign. I think I want to start with Sandbox, though. Ooh, Ice Road Truckers DLC, yeah. Well, there was the whole... There's an Ice Road Truckers game, but... Like I said at the beginning of the t last time we played this, I want more Discovery Channel... You know, Discovery Channel games of, like, Deadliest Catch, X-Men, uh, X-Men, and, um... Uh, what's the other one? Gold Rush, or what? Gold Rush? Well, right, whatever. I mean, there's already the Gold Rush game, but, I mean, that needs to be... We need a new Gold Rush. It needs to be multiplayer, new graphics, new map, like, less clunkiness. That game's kind of clunky. Like, you drive a car and go into an area, and then it, like, freezes the game and loads and stuff. It's really annoying. Oh, yeah, SnowRunner has ice. Yeah, but that's all... Ooh, yeah. We need, um... We need SnowRunner to have, more, like, a big ice... Like, a lake that you drive across. Naked and Afraid? Well, that's like every Saturday morning for me, so I'm good with that one. Don't need any more of that. But yeah, we need a, a multiplayer Gold Rush. Gold Rush 2, 8 players... You can have two teams of four. You know, everybody can wa work the wash plant, the excavator, the dump trucks, all that all that stuff. Uh, $35. Boom. And then, like, a, a good $15 DLC. There we go. Did we deliver the cargo? Did I get the money? I think I did. All right, let's go to the bar. It's uh, yeah, it's about time to go to the bar. Yo, Rod with the thirty ninety nine. I think this converts to about a buck fifty USD. Oh, and your first super chat, dude. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, that's about, it's about twenty bucks, I think, actually USD. But thank you very much. Thank you very much. It means a million dollars to me to have everybody's support. Wow, that scared me. Is no one at the bar gonna give me tips? Oh. No tips or missions. What the heck? I think this converts to one US dollar and fifty cents. Smiley face. Thanks, brother. Yeah, there is a Mythbusters game, that's true. It's kind of a clunky mess too. I I have tried to put that Mythbusters game on this channel three times. And every time I've recorded it, just something goes horribly wrong and it's just like I can't even finish this video. I, I've had to abort it three times. So whenever that comes out fully. I'm, I'm going to try to cover it, but I think it's going to be a real mess. But I do want more of those, um, you know, Discovery Channel level games. Well, let's buy some fuel over here. Uh... Uh, we could get some boat upgrades. Actually, what do they have here for the shipyard? Not guilty, double trouble. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it's a lobster boat. Nice. Or we could do deep lines too. I mean, I, I, I really like the, the whole lobster fishing thing. Crabs and lobster are just fascinating. Setting those pots out and like timing it so you can, you do one run and then go do another and then pick up the first one and then 
like drop that off. It's it's really interesting. Hold on, boys. We're getting Comcasted. Hold on. Alright, I think we're right. Um, am I going to go back and play Occupy Mars? Yeah, I am. I want to go back to Occupy Mars and play the uh, free build mode on that one. Um, the campaign for me was completely broken, but I was more interested in the free build. Okay, uh, let's sleep for... How long have those been out there, those pots? Let me just check. We could grab, like, another set of pots. Oh, I don't know if this game has storage, though. Does anyone know if we can, like, store lobster pots? Like, can we... Can we have a storage? Although these were only there for about two hours. So let's go back for 16. All right, I could buy another set. We could. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll buy more. Yeah, you can hire other people, yeah. We gotta have a bigger ship for that, though. Hey, what's up, uh, Millwall? Welcome aboard. Oh, this looks like something you spend way too much time playing. Ah, it's easy to get carried away. Ah, uh, it holds a preset course. Alright, let... Oh, wait. Steer itself and hold a preset course. Oh. We already got the upgrade. What's up, Marcus? Welcome. Well, let's buy an upgraded sonar. I think our current one's only for 100 meters. Um, now, I wonder if I should get this or like save for another boat, but that's like millions of dollars. Uh... I wonder if we sell this boat, if it adds value to the boat. Like, if we sell it, if we'll get a percent. Like, if I buy this for 8k, can I get, like, I don't know, four and a half back or something like that? Hmm. Let's do fish sonar. Well, honestly, I don't think we want to go that deep. What fish sells for the best? I think it's all based on, like, Volume? It could be like tuna, but then it depends on how much. Alright, let's go with fish sonar 2. Let's, let's start at the top. Storage. Plus 3,000. I haven't even been close to filling the base one. Upgrade your radar to increase range for discovering hidden locations and boats. I'm going to get that one because that could give us better, like they mentioned, boats. So that goes with the whole buying a better boat thing. Fishing quota. Sonar we just bought. What is that, buoy? Oh, we got the buoy upgraded. We already got the best buoy there is. And searchlight's kind of meh. Okay, let's buy... We're equipped for lobster fishing. Let's buy... Gear. Steel lobster pots times 12. And then let's buy... We got plenty of bait. 
So let's give time to like, um... Hmm. Yeah, 10 hours seems good. Alright, cool, now it's 8 a.m. Alright, so we'll swing back and like drop these ones off here. Maybe we'll go a little faster this time so that way we can go across this whole thing. But we're gonna keep hitting them hard. We gotta attack. Gotta gotta earn that money. With an orbital strike of uh lobster pots. That's how I found you occupying Mars. Oh, good. Yeah, occupying Mars was um, interesting. It's got all the right stuff, but some of the pieces are a little disconnected and it's clunky. But it's also early access, so I'm not going to judge because I think at this point we all know if you're getting something early access, you know, you know it early. <laughs> Full release means early access. Early access means beta. Beta means alpha. Alpha means uh, still in the drawing board. Goof Troop and Construction Sim? Yeah, I want to do that too. I've been uh, wanting to play some racing games. Like there, I, I think next weekend a new LEGO racing game comes out on Xbox Game Pass called uh, LEGO Racers 2K where everybody gets to build their own race car and stuff and that's going to be hilarious. I want to play that with the guys. Cool thing is, with Game Pass you can just play dumb games like that that you're not normally into for like a one-time thing and it's totally fine. You know, it's like with Fall Guys. Fall Guys is free on Game Pass, so if you're not really wanting to play it, but you know you want to hang out with your friends and they're just playing once, you can just get in there for once. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Lego name though. It's like 2K Racers or something, and it's made by 2K, so that's kind of a weird name. I don't know, it's like calling your racing game like Electronic Arts Racing Fun Time. Like it's kind of weird. Oh yeah, Fall Guys is on Epic, yeah, I'm sorry. I meant, I meant Epic, yeah. Fall Guys is fun, though. I want to do more giveaways and stuff via Fall Guys, but... Uh... Alright, let's set a course. I think that's a good spot. Oh, I forgot we could fast travel. I did it for reals. Forgot we could actually fast travel. Now let's get to about there. Fall Guys has a creative mode now? Ooh, interesting. Alright, let's start lobster boating. So... Let's set cruise control to... Set it to 12 knots now. I'm going to try to spread things out a little bit more. Wait a little bit longer on purpose. Just a little bit. Just a little bit.
We need a bigger boat. I agree. I agree. Get the full groove troop for Among Us. Yeah. Uh, I think the Among Us craze is kind of over now. If people are going to notice the troop, we got to do... Um, like simulator games like this and like city builders. At least on this channel. Well, those are the things that I played the most. Like strategy. You know, in a way, City Skylines is a strategy game. Planning st planning out your moves. Building stuff, you know. It's an open world base builder survival. And we're waiting, we're waiting, and... Go. Yeah, Ransom with Bradford will be funny. More War Tales? I agree. I'll play that with She Fox. She won't be around this weekend. Tomorrow we're going to play Anno 1800, and then I think she's gone for like the next uh, six days or so. PTO was approved. Oh, yeah, look at that spread. Much nicer now. Do I like to pull my viewers on what games to play? I can almost feel like I can kind of tell when you guys are going to be really interested in something or just kind of interested. But, and there's the almighty algorithm, you know? Algorithm can be cruel or confusing, mostly. Number one game on my channel is just some weird game that I recorded when I was sick. It was like a train simulator where you build, uh, like you build train tracks out of wood. And I got like, I don't know, one and a half, two million views, and I'm like, what the hell happened? Why, why is this? And that's how YouTube works. Crazy Cat, thanks for the 16 months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the support. Welcome back, Kevin, as well. Good to see you in the chat. Well, I think that game kind of appealed more to the to the younger audience, and they're a little more... They have, Since they have so much more time... Wow, look at where we're going. Why did the... Didn't the GPS say that it would hold course? I haven't even changed the heading at all and we're kind of just Welcome. heading off into the sunset weird whatever oh yeah we're gonna start streaming in 4k soon uh, probably in the next month or two uh, for a while we were streaming at ultra low latency and YouTube would only allow for 1080p for that um, but I've decided to just do very low rather than ultra low and I've been waiting since like 2018 to get a new PC. I built a really really good PC so before I bought a new one I wanted to make sure like I got a lot out of it so now it's time. Oh yeah maybe the current drift. Oh maybe maybe the game takes that into account. Wind and current? Yeah maybe. But yeah we'll step up with our stream quality soon. Last one. And these are only 15 hours, so we'll circle back and start our line. Go. Cool. Or maybe I never turned the autopilot on. I don't know, but this turned out good, actually. Like, I like that. It's going to be tricky to pick them up, though. I 
Okay. So I think we got to wait a minimum of 18 hours. But let's just try an hour first. Or two. Okay, I'm going to wait like another... Actually, by the time we drive there, it should be... Channels that do it in 2160 look pretty awesome. Yep, it's about time to upgrade, yeah. I was uh, hoping not to, with this PC, not do any upgrades on it at all and just buy a whole new, like a completely new setup. And so now it's, it's time. It's been a while. It's time. I think the perfect time is between, I think it's 20 hours. Yeah, 20 hours, okay. So you got like a four hour window to pick them up. Ooh, now it's raining. Now it's almost uh, four o'clock. Let's go. We got lobsters. That one's a little too small. Big ones, some big ones here. I think that one's okay. Uh, oh. All right, first one's in the bag. On to the next one. How big do they have to be? They have to be bigger than the, um, there's a little wiki thing here. If we go into, they have to be, their tail has to be, the start of their tail, like the first notch back here has to be at least three inches there. So it has to be that or bigger. one. All right, back to blue boxes. Oh. 
Wait, are we going to reverse? What the hell? Oh, yeah, because it teleports you to the damn... Wait, what the hell? Wait, what? We're picking up buoy now. Wait. We just picked up pot number two. We're literally working on it right now. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Yeah, I didn't go into the other line. The hell? Did I grab three? Oh, I did. Oh. You're right. I didn't notice that. That's okay. Let's, um... Uh... That'll be fine. Okay. Let's grab what we got. So that's a nope. That's a nope. That's a big one. And where's that pod? There it is. Okay. So that's pot number two there. Go grab that one. Need a damn like harpoon gun to shoot out and like pull it in. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm within the circle, pal. I'll tell you what, this upgraded engine is great though, like it was so hard to maneuver before. Like we almost had to come around every time. Because the waves would just like, it just wasn't strong. Just push us out all the time. We're going way too fast. Is there a hotkey to like zero out the engine to like dead stop? I think it's X to come to a dead stop. Okay, let's see. Yep, you were right. Oh, X actually kicks it into reverse, so it not only does it cut the engine, but it also like brings you like tries to stop the boat, not just cut the engine. Right now, this whole, uh, I think the, um, like, the amount of lobsters we've captured with this boat is enough to, like, start a seafood restaurant. I really want a Dave the Diver version of this game where we also get to, like, operate the restaurant. And it would be cool to, like, be able to buy a property, build a restaurant, hire employees for the restaurant, but then also do the fishing part and hire employees for all the different types of fish you can get. 
And then to import things that aren't just necessarily native to your area. But I, get, I think that makes it more appealing. If it's locally caught scallop, fish, you know, whatever, pollock, herring. It's going to be a good haul. Close enough. Crocodile Hunter Sim? You know, there's actually a, an event going on in Hunt Showdown where you're supposed to go find, like, crocodile traps, gator traps. And uh, it's rumored that they're bringing a crocodile boss to that game, which will be interesting. I think we'll still have to fight him in buildings, but it'd be cool if they added a new map or something, too. Some other stuff. But a new boss would be a welcomed addition. Hunt Showdown's a great game. Good time. Next one is there. On the nose. Favorite game of 2023? Dredge. Yeah, Dredge so far is just... Yeah, it's just sometimes games for me. I, I've told you guys, this is like... When you're extra in the mood for spaghetti or lasagna or roast or something, like, all that stuff's good. Burgers, ribs on the grill, all that stuff's good. But when you're extra in the mood for it, it's extra different. So Dredge was kind of like, it was like an inventory management spooky horror game, but it wasn't really that scary, but kind of. And it, it, was, it was just a game that really had my intrigue when I played the demo, uh, like, last year sometime. But, yeah, Dredge was, Dredge was great. Terra Nil was great. I think that's a close second for me. Terra Nil was really cool. Especially since I followed the development of Terra Nil for a while. Like, I followed Terra Nil from what it looked like a SimCity 2000 game from, like, nine, like from Windows 95, back in 95. And then they've just done so many improvements and changed the game so much. It was just a, a great game. No, I haven't played Chef Life uh, Restaurant Simulator yet, no. And I haven't played uh, Silica yet, either. Those are two that I want to play... Uh, but Chef Life, I can't... There was some reason why I couldn't play it. Uh, I can't remember why, though. Something something happened to me wanting to play it, and then something happened. Uh, but Silica, I wanted to play with the boys, and we've all just been busy. Uh, Redfall again? Um, probably not. And I'm not sure if I can play it again, because the last time I played Redfall with She Fox, we got to the second map, and then the game kind of like... It, it crashed while it was loading into the second um, map, and then I, I don't know if our, our save saved, but I gotta move on to some new stuff, too. Uh, other new stuff, I should say. But I think that's why I stream three times a day, because I, I don't just want to play the new stuff, either. Sometimes there's stuff that's just not necessarily new, but um, has new DLC like this game, which got a DLC uh, last month, I think. I think it was last month. I keep saying it was April. Maybe it was January. I don't know. My bl blood pressure has dropped with this game. Thank you. Yeah. You know what's another great game to drop your blood pressure is um, Hunt... Uh, what is it? What's that new hunting game called? We played it before. Hunter... It's not Call of the Wild, it's that other game. I think it's Hunter Way of the Wild or something, or whatever. Way of the... I don't know. Anyway, it'd be hilarious to play that with she, she Fox and Bradford. 
Because they just... They would somehow turn a bolt action into a fully automatic rifle, and it's like, how the hell are you guys getting all these kills? Yeah, I like the concept of Redfall. I thought it was, like, a cool game, and I enjoyed it, and would like to play it more. Um, and the reason I say that is because before playing Redfall, we were playing Generation Zero, which is that, like, that open-world 1980s Sweden robot thing, and it, it kind of plays the same. And that was a good game, and Redfall seemed kind of good, too. And I liked what they were going for, but there were issues. But it seems like uh, I really think we need to have a talk with game devs. We need to be like, hey, listen, here's the thing. If there are issues, uh, cancel the release. That's it. Like, just just, just delay, 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 delay. We, we're totally fine. It hurts to wait, but... Um, you know, I, I would I would much rather have a game. I, I'm honestly hearing every everybody else complain about games being broken is exhausting, and the only way to get them to stop, and they're right, is to have the developers like step up and do things right. And some games are too. There's too many working parts where there is going to always be issues, and that's fair. And all games improve over time. Stardew Valley, City Skylines, ATS, and Euro Truck. And I think. They need to understand that we're not fools that way either. And I think you guys, you know, I, I think you all know that if I play a game and really like it and it's not for you, it's like uh, everything I play is technically a promotion because, like, you might want to get it or whatnot, but I'm mostly just playing games for fun, and if we do get a promotional deal or something, it's already for a game that I was going to check out anyway. So it's like, I mean, you know. I wasn't paid to play Redfall at all. I just wanted to play it because it was free on Game Pass. But if they came to me and they were like, Hey man, do you want $100 trillion to play Redfall? It's like, uh, yeah. I was going to play it anyway, but yeah, thank you. I, I guess, thank you. But, you know, I, I think that's a good option too. Is like, If, a ga if you play a bad game on uh, Game Pass, I, I think you should consider that. Because like, I paid for Game Pass, not for Redfall. So I have to judge it that way. You know? On the other hand, I think Redfall is better than games like Thief Simulator and whatnot that are just like. They're supposed to be a clunky nightmare and a mess, and I think that's what makes them funny, too. I, I think games can have weird clunkiness and bugs to them that makes them hilarious. Like uh, My Summer Car. If a bug happens in My Summer Car, I feel like that game's so hilarious and unpredictable that if a bug happens in that game, you're not sure if it's intended to happen or if it was a bug. Hey, what's up, Daniel? Welcome, dude. Shout out to you. Thanks for joining to the stream. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I was so close. I did that one as fast as I could. I should have slowed my roll a little bit. Oh, well. Eh, not too bad. Let's back it up. Look at the rear view and just back around up. But yeah, I, I want more games to be... Uh, I mean, they got to hit Windows, and they've got... You know, it's the corporations being like, Hey, we want this game to cost zero dollars of production, and we want it to make infinite amount of money. How do we make that happen? Well, that's impossible. Okay, well, then just add microtransactions and release it tomorrow. It's like, bro, I don't really care. Uh, you know, I'm going to start throwing that back now. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like earning a cosmetic in a game or like a skin is so much more satisfying than just buying it. I like when devs do events, like to bring you back into a game, like Hunt Showdown does that all the time, where it's like, oh, dude, we're doing like the the Haunted Fest uh, 2023, like participate in the event and you'll get a cool skin. It's like, oh, that's cool. It, 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 it's like, oh, I was there. You know, I was there, man. I was in the event. I didn't do very well. I died a bunch, but I got the t-shirt. So it's like, it's cool. I like that. How full is our boat now? Oh, we're not even like halfway. Earning is more rewarding? Yeah, I, I agree. Don't get pinched? Yeah. <laughs> By what, the mob? Or you mean the, the lobsters?
Oh well. I'll tell you what though, we're very excited to play V Rising. Very excited to play Project Zomboid again. And I'm not sure how we're going to do our V Rising server, but we'll figure it out. I want to invite members, but I'm not sure what the limits are. So it, it'll probably have to be first come, first serve at a certain date and time when we turn the server on. I, I don't think there's any way we can control that. Like once we flip it on, it'll just be like, hey, come on in. We'll have to have some rules though, like don't like don't give me stuff because otherwise it'll make it too easy. Because I know chat's gonna try to like give like oh dude hey Raptor I found um I found uh, Alucard's uh, extra mega deluxe extra item it's a uh, super legend ultra mega tier uh, dev uh, item um here it's like no <laughs> damn it also good job but no you earn that. Plus, um, Chad, I'm just going to have She Fox do all the fighting, and I'll just be in the house hanging out. That's probably what's going to happen. I think we're going to break into teams of two. And I don't know who's interested. Here's what would be great Red and Bradford in a castle, me and She Fox, Dirty and Lumberjack. It'll be great to see the, the, dyna the social dynamics. And then imagine all of us together in uh, Project Zomboid. I want to see Jerry play that game. I don't know. Chat, too many games, not enough time. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Let's go. Let's go. Is this video going to be uploaded later? Yeah, it will. All of our live streams are later a video on the channel. So for those of you who are like, oh, man, this is a damn good stream. I've subscribed and turned on the notification bell, but I want to know how it ends. Does Raptor actually make it home alive, or does he get swallowed by the deep? Well, you know, you just come back later and watch the bot. Oh, that one might have been a keeper. Oh, well, it's okay. Are there storms? Um, not sure. I mean, I know there there's different weather, but I don't know if that prevents you from going I don't know look at that perfect frickin timing rolled right up on the next one right at the perfect time beautiful getting better can you fall off the boat I don't think so I mean in real life you sure can Is that the cops? Are they watching me? It's the Mounties. They bought a boat. Alright, and the last one is right there. Good luck. I hope you get a lot of subscribers. We're getting a lot. We're heading towards 2 million subscribers, so, you know. Thanks for all the hanging outs and the super chats and the subs and the memories and all the good stuff. It's been a great uh, couple of years for the channel, for sure. How about a big whale? I don't know if you I don't know if you can see whales in this game. One of the coolest games to see whales in was a game called Cold Waters. It was like a Cold War submarine game, and there could be what they call like organic detected on the sonar. And I think you'd also detect oil rigs and other stuff like that. And so, like, you could accidentally like torpedo a whale, which is hilarious. I don't know. I left the blue box. Blue box. Wait, so if the... Can you only catch from third person? I don't... Are you supposed to put ice in the bin? Uh, probably. The game doesn't have you do that, but... I think maybe some steps are simplified just to... 
make it so you can focus on things equally. Hell yeah, brother. Alright, cool. fast travel I forgot so these are eight hours in I'll pull up slow all right well we've got about a half full boat here so We'll see how it turns out. Ah. Oh. Aw. Oh. Nice. Well, we're coming we're coming in hot boys watch it don't blink we're low in the water good crab haul well hey we got about uh, almost half the boat full it's almost up to four four thousand kg nice now this game's not multiplayer but this is a fine example of a game that just like should have multiplayer I, it's not that easy either to like flip a switch and do multiplayer, but I I really do wish more games. There's so many cool games that you just wish would have multiplayer, so you could share them with a friend and be like, "Dude, you got to get this crab fishing game." It's like, no way, dude. That would never be fun. Meanwhile, you know, people how many how many times a day do you think somebody's converted over to like Euro Truck or ATS or Snow Runner with somebody being like, "Dude, you got to get Snow Runner, man." It's like, wait, you just drive trucks and get stuck in the mud? That sounds dumb. Like you don't get to go fast or do anything. Oh, oh. Then they then they play it on Game Pass for free and they're in. You know, just cuz it's multiplayer and a friend was able to pull them in. Good. Good. Victoria Sweet with the five bomb for chat. Thank you very much. Victoria bringing us up to 26 new members. No way. All right. Well, we're halfway to the big old 50. Thank you, chat, for the non-stop, don't stop, won't stop support. Let's go. <laughs> Runaway train, y'all, or I guess a semi in that case. Let's go. Get bomb emotes in the chat. Show them some love. All our new members and Victoria for the support. Hell yeah. Where do we dock here? Is that? Oh, that's it right there. It's hard to see. Like at the other port, it's like a solid line. This kind of just looks like red shading. Oh, now I can see it better. That was the lighting from night. Mm -hmm. Fish on board. Would you like to sell your catch? Yes. Ah, oh, there's one undersized. Damn. Oh, times two. My bad. Well, hey, 76,000 from that haul. Damn. And then we got 50,000 when we came here the first time, so we're up over a hundo. Beautiful. This game's not exactly like the show. I guess you gotta work your way up. Yeah, exactly. Then you can get up, like, in this town already, uh, if we take a look at the dock. I mean, there, there's way bigger ships we can have than this. Like, I say ships because they're massive compared to what we got now. 
Like, eventually we can get up to this, and this is a million bucks. There's ships in this game that's like six, seven, eight, ten million. And, like, then you're starting to get up into the big old... Um, I think you can get snow crab. Is it snow crab? I think it's snow crab that you can get in this game. And, uh, they're, that's, a, that's a big old crab. Hmm. All right, let's get uh, fuel. Repair a hull. Are we damaged? Oh, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, let's see. Skip time, weather, map. Does the yellow arrow indicate the travel of the direction of the lobster? Yeah, I think so. It's where they've been migrating to. So we're going to have to drop some more pods and stay on them. I think what we'll do is wait till morning again. I think we'll wait about... And we'll wait 13 hours. Right after my cat just walked into the room, he demands attention. I bet. I know what you're going for, though. Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right, let's roll. Yeah, you want to drop them ahead of the arrow for, like, the big hole, but we're, they seem to be staying in that shallow area around there, so we're just going to keep hitting them. Because uh, if they go any deeper, they kind of seem to spread out. And the volume of... Um, lobster that are available are not as much. No, these are already blue? Uh-oh. I should have looked at the map. Uh, anyway, there is, yeah, there's snow crab in the game. And then they asked, they recently added uh, sea scallops. So that's pretty cool. Autopilot. Oh, you can have your autopilot head at max speed? Uh, that's going to be a problem because I have... Uh, is there a way I can load that autosave? Oh, I think it's saved before we... Uh, Let me check and see if it loaded before we uh, traveled time. Ah, damn. We're gonna have a problem. Unless we have a storage of some sort. Seems strange to me that we can't store any of our supplies, but I guess it makes sense because we don't own like a dock or anything here, but... Fish market, fishing gear. Nah, I think we're just going to take a, a minor hit on those. I don't think it'll be too bad. It'll be all right. We'll be all right. Are you thinking about getting this? Oh, enjoy. Is pirating other pods possible? Uh, I, there's other f boat traffic, other fishing boats and other stuff, but, um, like, you can't, like, they're just obstacles for you to try to not run into. I don't, I don't ever see them really doing anything. I mean, I think there's even ferry boats in this game, too. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go. So we're going to go here and drop these. Oh, there are 
are still blue. We'll be alright. Okay, and then let's do... We'll do eight this time. Alright, let's get to work. Bait the trap. What if we could see our other pots from here? I'm going to set these a little closer. Should do a tight formation this way. We're going the right way, so we're good. Can anyone join you in your V Rising playthrough? Yeah, um, we're gonna have so a couple things. One, the server will have a limit of the game, and the server will have a limit. So I guess we could set it to. I'm, I guess I'll just keep it open to members only, and just be like first come first serve because. Like, the first thing we want is only join the server if you absolutely positively are going to play. So that way, you know, you don't, like, set up a base and then uh, go on vacation and then block somebody else from building. So I guess the rules will have to be member, make sure you have the time to play, and, like, um, please do play. Like, make sure it's a game that you want to, like, get through. And uh, I'm not sure how long we'll be playing because I'm not sure about the update or whatnot, but I mean, we'll at least have the server for a month. So that should be plenty of time. Which is cool, so anybody who gets a gifted membership and wants to play V Rising can also, like, come along and... Well, we'll just have to be like, hey, make sure you're gonna play if you're gonna jump on the server. And I forgot a lot about the game, which is good. Why the hell are we so off course? Damn it, that that damn GPS. It's supposed to set the course and all that, whatever. That's annoying. Members ATS stream again? Yeah, that'd be fun. I also want to do farming sim with you guys and break off into, like, different uh, teams. Because farming sim, like, you don't need, I don't know, what is it, 16 or 18 people doing one job. But it would be cool to have, like, a farm going and see what happens. I guess the seas are a little rougher, so it's all over, but that GPS man said it's supposed to hold course and bearing, and I don't... I don't see... It, like, there's this option for setting for speed, but if it's on, I want it to hold course, too. Can you buy a second set of traps so you always have traps in the water? Yeah, that's what we're doing now. Like, I'm setting traps here, and then these are ones that are ready to go. So once we reach the end of this line, I'm going to pick these ones up and head back and drop them off and just kind of keep repeating the process but I found it weird that we can't have like it doesn't look like there's a storage so I can't like buy uh, you know like 50 of them or something and like pick and choose when I bring them out or where I put them or whatever sounds like <laughs> carts crashing into each other 
Yeah, now I can't unhear it, right? You're right. You're totally right. Yep. Yeah, I certainly do want to play more ATS for sure. All right, one more to go. This is a much tighter pattern. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. Us maybe naturally flo uh, following the current of the water maybe will lead to more lobsters. I mean, if we look at our GPS. Oh, there's quite a bit here. Oh, there's quite a bit of lobsters here. This is good. Sonar looking nice. Uno mas. Uno mas. Bruno Mars? No, Uno Mas. You've been in, into ATS lately? Yeah. You know, for me, ATS is kind of a chore because of all the things that I break out to get into, that's probably the one I'm the most... Uh, that I simulate the most with, you know? Uh, like, Microsoft Flight Sim, you just throw a throttle onto a desk, but ATS, I got a whole... Euro Truck ATS, I got a whole setup for. Alright, let's pick up. Seabirds looking for food, they sure are. Let's go. Yeah, my wheel is already like attached to a like a desk that I slide under my desk. Like I've got it kind of on like a a wheeled It's almost like a TV tray, but it's kind of like it's something that you would use in your office to put like a printer on that you could wheel around, but I bolted mine to that so that I put it under my desk and then I can kind of lock it in place firmly under the other desk. And, uh, but then, you know, the pedals and all that, it's not too tedious, but it's like, I gotta, it like changes my world, man. Come on, baby. Cool. Do you reset your pots in the same place? Where the pots are full. Um, I mean, the lobsters constantly move, so... The game does a pretty good job of simulating migration of fish and stuff. But there's probably a lot of spots I don't... Probably a lot of spots I don't know about that we have to go to the bar to, like, ask somebody about. A little too small there, buddy. That's a big boy. Ooh, I'm, uh, uh oh, oh. Shouldn't be too bad. Green's still good. So we're picking up just before noon. Yeah. There we go. That's a really cool setup. Mine 
uh, sits next to the desk on the floor. <laughs> yeah, my... Uh, somehow I just had an extra thing laying around and I was like, you know what, I'm going to use this for this. It's good when you find a use for something that uh, you could otherwise throw out, but... Uh, uh, I like to have minimal things and take very good of the things, very good care of the things that I have. That boy's a little too small. Your setup needs an upgrade. Yep, I'm going to be upgrading a lot of my stuff this year. I, I certainly want to. It's time. Like Chad was saying earlier, like 4K, you know, 4K streams, 4K monitors, lots of, uh, lots of improvements to be, to be made. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have better results if they turn blue, yeah. Uh, in this case, we waited a little too long, so they're going back to green. But green and blue, from what I can recall from previous games, are pretty... They're pretty similar. They're fairly close. this current do I think I'll do a build video mm, I did an unboxing video a million years ago the one that I got from uh, origin PC and I think I'll get from them again and just kind of do an unboxing I I do I've built my old my own PCs before old PCs I have uh, I built myself but I'm just gonna go to a, a team now and have them do that for me because uh, they built it quite nicely and I think they have better access to uh, some, some things that I might not be able to get my hands on but I don't know I've got a few friends that I've been talking to about it and I think we uh, we got a plan I've got top men working on it top men But, you know, the goal is to, you know, buy something to where I don't need to do maintenance on it or, you know, it's like this fishing boat, you know? Like, I guess technically we can upgrade stuff on this boat, but if I could, I would just rather buy the the best boat. Yeah, it feels a little small, that boy. Well, it's a big boy. Yeah, I think about it like, uh, you know, if you if you own a, a landscaping company, uh, to buy all the stuff you need at the start is preferred. You know, having the uh, truck with enough horsepower to tow a trailer with enough uh, size to f haul the mowers that you need that fits the uh, amount of business that you're doing. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, I'm brother, I'm looking for a new Mega Extendo crew, goof, goof Cab. Not not just crew, but we need enough room for the goof. But it'll be good. I'll probably keep the old PC and probably put it in another room for something and then somehow tr transfer files between because there's no way that this PC and another PC could be in the same room. It would be it would be an oven. No amount of... Uh, I, I don't want to have an air conditioner blasting all day long, you know. Whoa, get all turned around here. You like a PC where you could choose your own things? Yeah. We're going to have some good things going on. But, if I do get my PC and another PC together in the same room, at least I won't have to have, like, you know, my heating bill for the winter. That'll be fine. I'll just have a $100,000 a month, uh electricity bill 
But, damn it, didn't spend any money on the natural gas. Man, this water's fighting me. Yeah, put it, yeah, donate it to, that's what I've been saying, donate it to the Smithsonian, yeah. This is where, we're, this is the PC Raptor got his million subscribers on. Dude. There we go. Now we're good. And now we'll come in nice and slow. Hey, there we go. looked a little too small. Did I have any issues getting uh, Occupy Mars to run? Uh, nope. I didn't have any trouble getting it to run, but I did have trouble like playing it with certain issues. Like, uh, there was a weird bug where I was doing maintenance on a machine and like it exploded and then I got blown through the wall and trapped inside of like a pillar <laughs> and then I had the uh, the main campaign goes into a cutscene where something happens and then like there's an explosion and then it like wouldn't load the next part of the game so uh, the yeah it should be three inches on the lobster's tail but I'm not sure how strict it is on the sizing can you go back into the box and take out the small ones? No. It's kind of like Papers, Please, or like Contraband Police, where it's like, once you go past, once you, once it's in, it's, it's like, it's like you've allowed somebody across the border. Once they're in, they're in. Can I just turn the boat a little bit to the right and just... Oh yeah, we can. There we go. Oh, it's a complete gray screen for you. Oh, that's frustrating. You want to keep informed on the stuff I buy for the build? Yeah, I'm going to start working on that probably at the end of the month. We'll have to come up with a name for it. I'm going to toss that one. Operation Arby's McDonald's. Sponsored by Comcast. You know, Chad, I want to get sponsored by Comcast just so I can, like, get, get refunded the money that they owe me for emotional damages. Like, I want, like, a $50 million uh, Comcast sponsorship. I'd still say after that they'd owe me about 10 more bucks, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be that picky over $10, you know what I mean? Am I big on RGB? Nah, not really. I notice a lot of Twitch streamers will have, like, the purple backgrounds and stuff, and I don't think that's because of Twitch colors, but just because they, um, 
I think it's just a good neutral color that's just kind of nice. Like, it's kind of a cozy, warm color, but, like, dark. So, 40 series card, maybe. Maybe we'll go with a 40 series card, maybe. It's probably going to be something dual and something expensive. <laughs> the current setup that I have now is very expensive at the time, but I was I, I like that because I take good care of my stuff, and so, you know... I mean, a car, a car that I have now is over a decade old with uh, minimal maintenance. Like, the car I'm driving now only has, like, a... It only had one problem ever with a hole in the radiator, and that was it. It was like a leak, got it replaced, and that was about it. Aside from the regular maintenance. You haven't changed the brake pads in over 10 years? Well, luckily I got those changed uh, for like three years ago, so. Good on those. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if I got sponsored by Comcast, magically all my internet issues would go away. It would be hilarious, though, if they did you know, pay me for a sponsorship, but the internet was still garbage. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we know we're paying you uh, to promote how cool our internet is, but we don't care. We're going to still be trash. It's like, that's perfect. They reimbursed me for the emotional damage, and chat knows the truth, that they're an absolute... It, it a, a landfill has done more for humanity than Comcast. And that's offensive to landfills. And I want to apologize to anybody who owns or operates a landfill that I had to compare you to Comcast. I'm sorry. It's disrespectful to sanitation. And by that, I mean, you know, not the contractors and the people who go out and install the cable and the nice people that you talk to on the phone. I mean the corporate turd cutters who are just like cutting turds in corners. Hey, dude, let's. How about we give something back to our community and our, our the people who pay us? Nah, let's not do that. Let's just make sure the internet only works if they're paying a bill. Other than that, lol. Oh, hey, um, they know our internet's trash. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just change our name to Xfinity then. They won't. Fa they'll fall for it. They're dumb. If you hate Comcast, you loathe Spectrum. Yeah. I ha okay, so for a while, I, I moved into a place where they had fiber optic, like, local company internet. And it was like, yeah, uh, for $10 a month, we'll give you, like, a gigabyte up and a gigabyte down forever. And it's like, oh, my God. If I could get that now, I would gladly pay $100 a month forever. I would pay for my... It's like, hey, neighbors, what are you guys using? Comcast? No, 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 no. I'm going to pay your internet bill. Oh. It would be it would be like a charity. It'd be a chair like doing good for humanity. To make sure Comcast didn't get a dollar. No, I know. I like like I should have never moved I made a mistake. Like, oh. Should have never moved. It's like, hey, do you want to live in Richie Rich's mansion with the uh, roller coaster and the McDonald's and the uh, the pool, the swimming pool and the water slide? But you have to use Comcast internet. Rent is one dollar a year. I'm out. Nope. Burn it down. Nope. Comcast? No way. Nope. No. Well, there's no other competitors that are allowed to be in the neighborhood. Oh. I didn't realize. Uh, we were playing Monopoly. Didn't realize I passed go. Feel like I'm going directly to jail if I'm going to use Comcast. Nope. Oh, come on, Richie Rich has a go kart track. Nope. I'm good. Go kart track is tempting, but uh, nope. I'm good. Uh, 
My God. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, like, uh, it seems like now, like, twice a year, my power will go out for, like, half a day. And um, what's weird is that the power will go out in the room in which my, like, like, I'll have power in the office that I'm in, so my, my, like, all the lights and everything will be on, the, I think even the kitchen light turns on, but, like, I don't know, I'll, I'll lose power in half the house, and it's only where the, like, the internet comes in, and it's like, how, I'm having a half outage? Like, how do you, that's like not getting a phone signal, but you can only hear the, every other word that somebody on the other line says. Can you see how much you've caught in total? That's a good question. Um, there might be a way to see that. Yeah, lobster caught. Uh, we caught 2,290 lobsters that weigh almost 8,000 kg. Oh, looks like there's 39 locations in the game. Damn. Yeah, there's lots of stats. A brownout? Well, like, instead of a blackout, a brownout is supposed to be, like, uh, where, like, parts of a neighborhood or city go down. But I've never had, like, an internal brownout. Like, I've blown a fuse before. You know, or, like, you, you know, you, tr you trip the fuse and just got to go into the fuse box or whatever. Or, the, you know, the circuit breaker or replace a fuse. But I've never had, like... <laughs> that's strange. I mean, that's... I don't know. That's like having the water go out in your place, except a pipe didn't burst or something. Like, everything's fine, but... Oh, yeah, like, the uh, the shower doesn't turn on. But it makes no sense, because the... Uh, I don't know. I can't even fathom that level of craziness. Almost done here. So we got what two? No, four more to go, and then we gotta wait. Well, we'll probably be done with that one at about six hours. So we gotta wait, maybe like ten hours, for those to be ready. All right, we're just gonna crawl, crawl ahead. Uh, can you see in the holding tank? Nah, unfortunately, no. I live in the middle of, the, of nowhere. A fiber company decided to run fiber out here. Literally went from satellite internet with 3 megabytes to 1 gig fiber for half the price. Yeah. Damn it, man. I, I love that type of upgrade, though. Like, I, I really don't think in 2023 there should be no excuse for nothing less. There shouldn't, there shouldn't be less than a gig unless you're... Again, like if you're in Alaska or something like that, where they're still going to Blockbuster or like physically renting movies and DVDs because the infrastructure is not there yet. You should have the option, that's all. It's just too important now. It's like run running water. I mean, you know, it's a great way to check on all your accounts. Your You know, all your uh, bills and things like that. I mean. You guys remember when they called it the Internet, or what they called the Information Superhighway? That's what they used to call the Internet. The Information Superhighway. And when you'd buy, like, a new gateway computer, you'd get, like, the little, you know, it'd have, like, the cow logo on it or whatever. And, like, inside it would show, like, the highway. It showed like a beautiful road. 
Connecting to the internet for the first time. The information superhighway. Australia internet goes to 100 megabyte download. Gignet is something hard to come by. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, you know, if you can if you can do it on your if you're close to if you can watch 4K on your phone and stuff. I just don't know why we can't just have like a computer come with a chip now or something. Something where it could just get the internet without really any sort of effort, really. But whatever. You remember playing Tarzan on Windows 98? Bro, you know what we need to play one day? I need to do a review video for Tonka Construction. I think that was like Windows 95. Probably 98. I want to go build stuff in t the greatest construction game ever. Tonka Construction, bro. Oh, yeah. I remember building the park with that guy on the cell phone all the time. And the little construction workers that would come out when you were doing a job. Damn. Those were good games. Remember when Tonka trucks used to be all metal? Yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Now we're, everything used to have sharp edges and was made of uh, metal. It was a... <laughs> it was a, t a tetanus wasteland. And now everything's round, rounded edges and, uh, and plastic. Thanks, attorneys. There's not anything... <laughs> Larger than a 25 degree angle <laughs> on any of those toys now. Everything just looks like a Ford Taurus from the like late 90s, early 2000s. Just the jelly bean. Everything's just a bubble. Helen here, thanks for watching, dude. Oh, you had VGA Golf for Windows 2.1? Oh, my God. I remember that game. You know, I was seeing uh, Lumberjack and a bunch of other people playing the new uh, PGA Tour Golf game or whatever, and I'm just, like, thinking, eh. I want to I play it once and then never... Probably play a, a golf game once a decade. But for those of you who like hockey, I did see a hockey game out recently that was really cool called and I think it's called Tape on Tape where it's like a roguelike hockey simulator or a hockey game where like you get special abilities and stuff it's all sorts of kooky weird weird stuff but it actually plays out pretty cool but it's like you're supposed to you're supposed to fail oh, there's only two on that one alright we're getting to the end fair enough because all the uh all the lobsters kind of been moving down that way, so there really shouldn't be anything up here. Yeah, we played the Mist uh, original Mist on the channel, not the original, but the remake of the original game. Yeah, uh, apparently they're making Riven, but the people Cyan Studios, the people who made Mist, are working on a new game called like Filament, and it looks really cool. They're the, they're great for their puzzle games. Some of those puzzles are like, bro. I think like five years ago, I saw a guy on YouTube play through all of the games, like Mist, Riven, and then a bunch, like Mist, apparently there was like a Mist, like three and four and stuff, and those games were damn cool, dude. They, I kind of forgot all about Mist after that, and not a lot of people played those games, but they got, the people who made Mist got so good at making like cool puzzles and stuff like that, where they, they weren't necessarily like puzzles where you had to think, they were kind of more like, um, physics logic puzzles like about repairing elevators and stuff and it was really really cool what they did 
You want me to put a Raptorian flag on a boat? That might be a good, good idea. Oh yeah, 28k modem, yeah. Dude, 56k just loading like a black and white web page is pain. Like, e even thinking about that is painful. About how slow some of those things were. I mean, it worked, damn it. And it got you black and white text information, but... Uh, I think the internet peaked somewhere around when I was in, like, late middle school, early high school. Where everybody was just on, like, addictinggames.com, coolmathgames.com. All those Flash games, that's when we peaked. That's when the internet was at its best. You're the man now, dog. Addicting games. YouTube was new. There were ads, but not as many. Remember when, like, a video would go viral? It's like, this video has seven views, dude. It's like the top... It's the top YouTube video on the entire site today. Holy crap. It's like, yeah, my friend's got the biggest YouTube channel. He's got 40 subs, dude. Whoa. Man. Those were the days. Yeah, Bradford plays a lot of old school RuneScape. I don't, uh, I remember playing that, but I don't, that's why I'm saying I should start a second channel for some more niche games that, I don't know how the hell, well, I don't know. YouTube viewers sometimes are weird. You guys are cool, but some of the things that I've seen, if I go play RuneScape, someone will be like, what happened, man? You've changed. You used to play Fishing North Atlantic. What happened, man? It's like, I, I just played this game once. I used to play it when I was younger or whatever. I don't know. You can tell when people spend all their day on the internet. Alright, let's head back to uh, the port. Bum, 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 bum. I'd love to go back to when people didn't identify as an influencer. Yeah, that that term seems to have died. They they try they they tried to like use that one for a while, but it's like isn't everything an influencer? Like if your friend says something like, "Dude, that wing place over like you're driving, dude, that's a great wing pl oh, influencer." Dude, I went there last week with Steve, and dude, that place was amazing. Oh, influencer. Weird. I'm going to drop this catch off so it doesn't uh, get too too bad. Bum bum bum. The new buzzword is inspire. Now nah, I just say YouTuber. Uh, YouTuber is fine. Like it explains everything. Because once you add like four labels to something, then it's just too much, you know. Like if you, if your neighbor's having car trouble and you're like, oh, don't worry, my husband's a car guy. You, oh, he, yeah. Ask 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 Steve. He's a car guy or whatever. You don't say, oh, ask my husband. He's a, uh, a J.D. Power associate, uh, top-rated uh, uh, maintenance assistant personnel qualified. No. Uh, no. <laughs> you just, you know, you just, come on. You know what I mean? Come on. Oh, my girlfriend, she, she's a computer whiz. She knows what she's doing. Ask her. That's what you say. Not, well, she's uh, qualified in C++ and uh, is ex Microsoft certified in Excel. Uh, no. Just, people get it.
Steve is a JDM focused black belt mechanic inspire with a minor in philosophy. Yeah, I know. It's it's these weird um I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Oh yeah, the the influencer thing. It's just like, you know, I just see it as like YouTuber, like fishing YouTuber. That's about as far as it goes. This is the gamer YouTuber. However, Holy crap. Whoa, what? 12 undersized. What the hell? Whoa, we're, we're drifting away. What's going on? Okay. Well, last time it was just two. Did they make them smaller, but they look the same? I don't know. I'm just going to risk it less. Whatever. Uh, let's see. So now the... Wait, how much uh, bait do we have? Wow, look at that. Lobster or 20 per kilo. Wow, swordfish is 29.13. Swordfish, I think, is so much because you have to harp... I think you can only harpoon fish them. Yeah, I thought I had a couple un uh, questionable ones, too, but I thought it was like going to be 2, 3, not 12. I don't know. Hmm. Holy mackerel. What the Pollock Redfish Sea Scallop is going on? Wow, look at that. Sea Scallops are 1936. Jeez. Uh, Alright, so let's see. How do you catch the fish? Uh, a lot of these are line fishing or net. You can do net fishing and stuff. Um... All right, first of all, let's buy new fuel. Boat's on damage, that's good. Um, uh, what am I doing next? Oh yeah, get, wait, is that bait? Yeah, okay. You currently have four of five. Oh, I think we're fine then. I need this game on Xbox. I'm always checking to see if it's not on if it's on sale. Uh, people were saying this is on PlayStation and PC, but I don't know about Xbox. All right, boy, we're gonna have to be uh, a little pickier with that. You know, maybe we've hit up too many lobsters now. In that spot, maybe is there another spot? Uh, lobsters of a week ago. Oh no, it's all the way over there. Is that wait, no. That's more than a week. That's nine well, six days maybe. Seems like those are the two most popular locations here. And over there. Hmm. I wonder. It, I wonder if we have enough time to drop pods, pick up pods, head over here and sell. No, nah, I don't really like that. The only other thing we could do is try to look on the. Uh, we could zip around and look on the GPS. Or the, uh, uh, the sonar. Hippie Cracker with the 36 months. We gotta come up with, uh, two new eyes. I, th I think we'll work in reverse. We should, I think what we should do 
is for members who are 40, I think it's 48 months and 36 months, they get a different colored eye. It's like a blue eye that has like a silver background, you know, like a dinosaur eye from Jurassic Park, that kind of thing. I think what we should do is breathe some new life into that, but maybe add new colors, but I really don't know. I don't know what we can do. All right, let's try to get out here, maybe. We're going to need to go a little deeper than uh, 28 meters. Your eye is shiny. Yes, it is. Shine bright like a diamond. Dinosaur chicken nuggies aren't as great tasting as I remember when I was a kid. Hmm. Hmm. Good observation. Okay, so we just need to go... Well, now we're just scanning for lobsters, I guess. We're using our sonar to, to scan. Let's keep an eye on the uh, depth finder sonar over there. A relaxing cruise, yeah. Yeah, you know, the tips that we're getting from the locals are like way too far away. And I wish I really wish we could hold more than the twelve pots. Like I wish we could hold twenty four and then break them into two groups. Because 12 pots are about enough to fill the boat halfway, so it'd be nice to grab 24, go to two different locations, pick up one, pick up two, and then head back. Because then we would have a full, uh... We'd have a full boat that way. So we're just looking for lobsters now. Looking for lobsters all the wrong places. Catch the rock? Oh, uh, the rock will catch me. Wait, you mean the one with, um... Uh, what's his name? Wait, what the hell's that? Oh. Uh, the one with, uh... Nicholas Cage and, um... Sean Connery, that one. How do you catch the scallops? Uh, you'll need a specific boat for that. And it needs to be rigged for uh, those types of... Those scallops. They're really profitable, those sea scallops. Yeah, Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage, yeah. That was a good movie, man.
feel like those Michael Bay blockbusters are still kind of like cheesy B movies in a lot of the ways. Like uh, the Transformers movies. What was the reason why Nicolas Cage was even on that island? Like, Sean Connery made sense because... Sean Connery, like, tried to escape from the rock before or whatever. Like, he was supposed to be a prisoner on Alcatraz long ago. But what the hell? Why the hell did they need uh, Nicolas Cage? Yeah, I'm just gonna go here. He was a virus specialist? Oh, okay. Oh, he was an FBI chemical weapons guy? Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, I couldn't remember. I was trying to think to myself, like, what the hell did they bring him for? <laughs> this is a damn good movie, though. I just love when you can turn your brain off and just not care. The bad boy movies are like that too with uh, Will Smith and uh, the other guy. I always forget his name. Isn't one of the Wayne's brothers? You think Con Air was the best uh, Nicolas Cage movie? It's a pretty damn good movie. Oh, what? How fast are we going here? Oh, it's Martin Lawrence. That's who that is. Yeah, National Treasure, that's a good one. Yep. Remember that one in high school. I think I think the first movie I saw when I got out of high school was uh Die Hard Four. I think so. I think it was that summer. That and um <laughs> You guys remember the movie Super Bad? Oh my god. Oh, Lord of War? That was a great one too, yeah. I think I saw that recently. Yeah, they did just announce Lord of War 2, yeah. Well, I don't know. They even announced Heat 2, but I, I, I don't know if... I don't know what it's going to be like when I see Heat 2. True Lies. Do you guys remember when they played that True... Or they made the True Lies video game? That would be a game that... would be interesting to take some, like, 90s... No, no one ever ever make it now, but... Movie games now are just kind of... You remember that Fast and the Furious game they made recently? What the hell? I don't think there's movie games anymore. Are there movie games anymore? Like, I guess you could say technically Harry Potter, kind of, but, like, not really. Oh, you remember the ice? Oh, yeah, the going down on the skis from the uh, 
Like the chateau, yeah. Yeah, I can't think of any movie games that have come out. I'm sure there's, like, one that's super obvious, but... I mean, good ones. Has there been any, well, notable ones? Maybe B, C movies? Spider-Man? Well, yeah, okay. But I feel like they would have made those games regardless without the movies, you know what I mean? Because they they didn't really base the new movies on the or the games on the movies, did they? They were kind of just their own thing. I mean, because like you could at this point, there's so many Spider-Man characters, you know, like villains and everything else that you could you could pretty much make a Spider-Man movie at any time and a and a Spider-Man game at any time. The new Mario movie, yeah. Well, that was a good that was a good movie based on a game, but. I wonder if there's any good games based on movies. Like, is there any? Oh, if Breaking Bad had a game? Uh, if Breaking Bad had a game, it'd have to be kind of more of a... It'd have to be like a real slow strategy game to be interesting. Because it would all be like stealthy and sneaky and... Jurassic Park? Um... I mean, there's Jurassic World... Oh, well, okay, alright, alright, alright. There is a DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2 that does directly tie into that um, that one company from the newest movie. So, all right, yeah, there's a DLC, yeah. GoldenEye 007, yeah, but that's not recent, though. I mean, there's certainly some good movies that have good games, but they're not recent. I, if chat's shouting out uh, GoldenEye, it means it's been a long time. I can't think of any. Like, I think there was a... F wow, look at that. How the hell did we make almost a 90-degree turn? GPS sucks. Well, at least it was... It's it, We're good. We're good. I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Oh, Doom. Yeah. But did the movie suck? Wait, was The Rock in that? World in Conflict, the movie, I could only dream, man. You know what I want to see into a movie, though, is the Splinter Cell series. I really think Splinter Cell would be a great movie, but Splinter Cell, we need some more Splinter Cell games. Splinter Cell's good. <laughs> Spyro the Dragon. Yeah, Doom was a game first, yeah. That's true. I forgot my own rules. I'm just like reaching for anything now. I'm trying to think of like the la like the last movie game I could even think of. I'm trying to think of a game that they made based on a movie. Any of them. What are we catching today? Uh, I'm picking up lobsters. Aliens? All right, yeah, there w there was a game called Aliens Fireteam Elite, but that wasn't, like, directly tied into it. I guess there's franchise games and movies. Like, they'll make movies based on games. Because, like, you know, we got a Star Wars game recently, but it's just based on Star Wars, and it's kind of its own thing. It's not necessarily tied into... I mean, it's, you know, you know what I mean. Like, Cal's not in the movies, but in, you know what I'm saying. But... Then we got Mandalorian, which is like a thing too. Like there's so there's so many spin-off things related to franchises. Like th there's a game that's just the game of a franchise, there's a movie that's a movie of a franchise, and there's like a series that's a series of the franchise, but nothing like concrete. Damn. Oh, the Lord of the Rings stuff, yeah. Well, they are making that Gollum game. They're making a Lord of the Rings Gollum game, but is that based on any of the movies? Like, they had, what was the, the Hobbit thing? Man, I don't know. Yeah, I want Jumanji. Jumanji would be an amazing... Like, think of this. Like, think of Green Hell, but you play as Robin Williams. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. You'd just be making noises all the time. 
All right, we gotta check and see what these are at. Okay, we're at eight hours. I, oh, I forgot. Were they supposed to be at 20 hours or 18? Let me just sleep for 10 hours. Okay, we're good. Perfect. Fast and Light should have been a... St oh, did they have any... Oh, yeah, again, they have... Oh, Chronicles of Riddick. There we go. I think that was based on the movies. Procrastinator, thank you very much for the 24 months. Appreciate it, bruh. New member, welcome. I can't see anything. How do I... Uh, isn't there a way to aim the spotlight? Good luck to this. Gran Turismo is turning into a movie with Orlando Bloom. Uh, you've been a member for two years, 12 days. I'm proud of it. Yeah, congratulations on the blue eye, my man. Thank you very much for the support. Congratulations. Big congrats. All right, let's go looking for a buoy. Actually, shouldn't we see the lights clear as day? Our buoys should have beacons on them. Did chat forget to change the battery? Oh, there it is. Wow, damn, you got to get real close to that thing to even see the buoy with the, I mean, the, the light. Cheesy Poofs with the nine months as a raptor egg. Congrats, man. Hey, welcome to all the new members today. We've had a crazy amount of people get gift bombed. We've had a ton of people smash the join button. Thanks for supporting the channel, folks. Welcome back, Daniel. Good to see you, man. Welcome back. You know what? You know what we need? Now, again, here's... Okay, hold on. Mad Max. We did get a Mad Max game, but it wasn't really based on the whole Furiosa... You know, like the recent movie, but damn it, we need another Mad Max game. I want, I really want another Mad Max game. If it if it played out as good as the first game did, it would be great. The first game was really cool, and we need a, a Mad Max like uh, strategy city builder. But I feel like a lot of games play out that way too. Right, let's see if we can get a little closer. <laughs> Could I shout everyone out here at just half? Um, I can't even drive my boat, man. I'm trying. All right, to be fair, it's... Uh, I think the seas are the... When you're getting close, the hardest part of this game is... Zipping, ripping, and dipping. There we go. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're good. Zombieland? Oh, that would be a great game. I, I feel like if they made a Zombieland game, the same folks who made Dead Island 2 should make that game. I love the way that played out. Also, there's been some big updates to Dying Light 2 as well. We'll have to check that out soon. Zombie games, uh, they get boring if they're all just gu run and gun, but I don't mind a good melee. Alright, so from here on out, I'm not even going to risk it. If, they're clo if, the, if it's close, I'm not allowing it. Yeah, Daniel, thanks for the 18 months, man. Do I remember Double Dragons? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, for the, uh, the Nintendo and stuff like that. Hell yeah, I do. Daniel with the five bomb for the chatty chatters. Thank you very much, dude, for dropping five gifted memberships on the member. chat. Let's Welcome. go. If you guys haven't hit that join button, make sure you hit that join button so you can be gifted a membership and or become a member yourself. Uh, three dots on the right side. Hit the join button. Three dots on the right side. 
Someone else can drop a gift bomb on you. We got a pretty damn fantastic community. But you don't need to take my word for that. Just watch the stream for 10 minutes. You see the fine folks. Damn, pulling up on this buoy like a pro. What the hell? Eh, less rough seas, I suppose. Yeah, we're not bobbing around as much. Do I remember Contra? Hell yeah, I do. Uh, let's see. What's up, Zach? Uh, I guess that's all just based on what you've been watching on YouTube and the algorithm. I don't really have any control over that. There we go. Couldn't grab it for a minute. There is a Zombie Land game? Really? Uh, let's just face it, folks. What we really want. Here, here's what we all really want again. We all just want... Bully. Bully remake. Bully remastered. And good. Not bad. Good. I think that one's alright. That's what we all want, damn it. Well, we drifted away from that one, but yeah, it's all good. Oh, that's strange. Hey, chat. Ah, never mind. I got it. We're good. Weird. I was just going to say... YouTube says I've been live for almost three hours, but when I look at my OBS, it says only two hours and like 56 minutes, so there's like a three minute discrepancy? Unless that's from my internet going out, but it wasn't for like two minutes. I don't. That doesn't make sense. Alright, I'm getting distracted. No, 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 booey, booey, booey. Oh, Bully's too controversial for this time? Oh, yeah. Ah, eh, maybe. Well, I don't know. It's... It's Grand Theft Auto. They make... Or, well, I mean, it's Rockstar. They make fun of everybody. Come on, baby. Let's go. Gotta grab that first. How do I move up a level in membership? Uh, if you guys want to upgrade your memberships, you can hit the C Perks button or the Join button, and then you can upgrade to like a Raptor uh, Plus or Raptor Ultimate. Wh wherever you're at, you can upgrade. Uh, if you ever want to move down, like if, if you uh, want to be a member, if you still want to be a member, but you know you want to reduce the um, your current membership level, you don't have to cancel your membership. If you don't want to, you can just, like, reduce your membership level for a little while. Or permanently, whatever you want to do. So there's options for everybody to become a member. And also to stay a member, too, if you just want to bring it down to, like, 99 pennies. That's like a pack of gum, man. That's a pack of gum. Uh, I think pack of gum is probably more expensive nowadays. But whatever you want to do, there's options for everybody. And hopefully everybody wants to become a member one day. You don't see the C Perks option. Hmm. Um, Alloy or Tan or Morgan or Indrid might be able to help. They usually, I think they've helped with that situation before. Uh, but just ask on the Discord and I think somebody should be able to know. I, <laughs> you think I would know because, you know, I'm the YouTuber and it's my channel. 
but I can't see what you see sometimes of my own channel. And since my channel sometimes gets access to different things, it's like different for everybody. So it, it can be a little annoying. All right, slot four on the Buford. All right, folks, that is my time for tonight for North uh, Fishing North Atlantic. It's a damn good game, and I think we should play it more. So if you agree, smash that like button. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to all the new members. And I'll see you fine folks tomorrow morning for some more Big O games on the channel. Thank you very much for all the love, the support, for subscribing and hanging out. And I hope to see you fine folks tomorrow for more. Now, let's go raid another channel. Uh, let's go find somebody playing Dredge. And uh, everybody spam pizza in their chat. And uh, go say hi to them. Let's find somebody else who is playing. Uh, somebody called Loud Flavor is playing Dredge. Oh, and it's their first episode. So uh, if you've enjoyed this game, you may enjoy Dredge, where it's a fishing simulator with inventory man. It's it's very much like this game, yet very different. And I I'm actually surprised that I can say that with like 100% truth. Like it's it's really interesting. So uh, check it out. Let's go live to somebody else. And let's raid another YouTuber. Let's go.